Hi everyone, welcome to WW Designs. My name is Nikki and it's time to make a new journal. So how did this one come about? The other day I had to do some pretty things for a swap partner and I was scrolling on Etsy because I severely lacked pretty pink things and I bought this delightful kit from Eternal Tail Pages. She was having a super sale. And, of course, I use some of these things to make my swap stuff. And I went, now, hang on a minute. One of my favourite YouTubers is Glam Junk Journals. She's currently having a break because she's moving house. But she makes the most delightful glam journals full of bling and pretty things and I've never made a journal quite like that so I thought we're going to make one of those and I will make it with you so you can see how I make a journal and hopefully I might inspire you to make a very glamorous journal now of course pieces like this was where I started this whole idea beautiful fabric some bling and I think I got if I remember correctly 187 images in this pack that I bought some of which I won't be using obviously there's no way I can use them all but some of them were just delightful so that's what started this whole thing so I have been through my stash and decided we need to play with some fabric we're going to start with a fabric cover so I found this delightful cream stripe fabric. This piece here is actually a pillow case that I bought from a op shop. So I thought that would work. I also found this at an op shop. It's beautiful black and cream and gold. So as you can see, we're heading down a certain path here. It's going to be black pink and gold are going to be my dominant colors for this journal then i have another this is another pillowcase that i bought at an op shop and it has it's beautiful embossed fabric so that's the sort of thing we'll be using i have this very old a little bit stained um table runner but we might cut bits out of this or use whole bits. I haven't decided yet. I found this very pretty vintage piece. Again, I think I bought this one at an op shop. I've Obviously, we're going to use some black, so I found some black scraps. I also bought this thing at an op shop. Don't know whether I'll use it yet, but... It's on the pile of possibilities. Then, of course, pearls. I think they're going to be a perfect match. I went through my stash and dug out some pinky toned ones, as well as obviously natural pearl colour. This is an old necklace that I got off my mum. She was going to throw it in the bin. But have a look, pink and gold beads. I certainly think they will come in handy. They're not so big, so I think we can certainly do something with those. And I have a few strips of diamantes. I think we can uh, certainly do something worthwhile with those. So this is the vibe we are going for. We're going to make a vintage glam journal. And somehow I'm going to turn this Belvedere breakfast biscuit box into a glam journal. Now, this is a very different size. I've sort of never worked with this before, but I quite liked this elongated shape. So we it's got a nice wide space here, so that'll make a great spine because I think this journal will become quite chunky. So that's the intro. That's where we're starting. I hope you'll follow along with me. I'm going to create a playlist for this and then, of course, all subsequent videos as we make our way through it. And I will call it a vintage glam journal. So that will be the playlist. And I will be back. 
in the next video and we're going to start on the cover. So until next time, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye for now.